Hi friends, today we're going to be making cheese scones, but not just any cheese scones, we're going to make them in the air fryer. So I got gifted an air fryer for Christmas and I got given this book also for Christmas. Um, I love baking, but I thought, baking in an air fryer? I gotta try. So let's go make some cheese scones, but in an air fryer. Okay, so here are my ingredients, and as I said, the method will be in the description. So here I have my baking powder, and I'm just doing two teaspoons of that. Sorry, I forgot to show that earlier. And then I'm doing my flour. Make sure you always sieve it. Look at all that cloud, beautiful. And then I just gave it a little mix with the baking powder in, just so it can mix in with the flour. And then here's my butter. Again, I've just cut it into little blocks. It's easier then to make it into, like to rub it with the flour, which you'll see me do in the next clip. So here's me rubbing. This is how you always do scones. You rub the butter with the flour until you get that kind of consistency that I have here. It's like breadcrumbs almost. Um, all the butter should have been rubbed into the flour. There you go, just like that. And then I added my cheese. This is not what you do. Usually you add your milk you make a dough, then you add your cheese. But this is me totally unaware. I must have been so tired. So I added the cheese and then I added like my salt and pepper thinking I was so cool. I know how to make scones like the back of my hand and I literally had done this back to front. Then I realized I was like, okay, I'm gonna just add in the milk. This became really difficult because obviously I, have, I haven't even formed it into a dough and I had the grated cheese as well. So it was super hard. Um, and I kind of panicked and as you can see I'm like kneading the dough um, But it actually still came out just fine. So it just shows that even when you go wrong With scones, it doesn't really matter um, Again, just put some flour on my worktop. So when I roll it out now when you roll uh, Scones, you're not meant to actually roll the dough that much my grandmother tells me that and she has the best scones they're always really fluffy and soft so the trick is with scones is to actually not roll it out that much my grand doesn't even roll it out at all i do a little bit of rolling but as you can see i leave them quite thick so that a lot of the air still stays in them which makes them light and fluffy and then as you can see i'm cutting it all up um and yeah, so basically if you wanna do scones, try and not roll the dough as much. It's just what my grand says. It works every time for me. These scones were actually really soft and fluffy and I did everything back to front, so. And then again, the stuff that you have left over, just redo. You could see there that I'm not actually rolling it that much. I'm just doing it with my hands. Again, it's the technique I've been taught, which is why I get really big fluffy scones. And then once you have all your scones, you just dab a little bit of milk on the top of them all, just like I'm doing. And then you preheat your air fryer. And then basically, I forgot to film myself, but you f you cook the scones for eight minutes on 180. And then halfway through like this, you flip them over. So you just flip the scones over and then put, pop them back in. And this is what they come out as. They were so soft, delicious. Uh, fluffy they are way better than cooking them in the oven even though I did the recipe wrong it just shows it doesn't matter I mean look at that oh delicious